G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. As we can see, the temperature on this is slowly heating up and it's about to hit 500 degrees. 500 degrees is, is the sweet spot where things start actually producing. Um, unfortunately, it's got to hit 500 degrees, not only in the reactor, but also in each one of these heat exchangers. So we can see this is at 4... 89 and this is at 497 so there is a 10 degree difference um, as the heat transfers through the heat pipes um, but we're about to hit the magic number we'll zoom all the way in and voila we have power um, as you can see I'm nuclear power supersedes solar power so even though we have solar power during the daytime um, and actually no we're ch charging the accumulator so Maybe it doesn't supersede it anymore. It did at one stage. Uh, that reactor's heated up. That reactor's all over that boiler. Heat exchanger's almost there. Come on, just another degree. There we go. Um, the other thing we're now doing is because we're now actually making steam, we're actually pulling heat out of this system. Um, so it's something you've got to be aware of. There we go. We've just fully charged our accumulators. Um, and now you can see our, well, our power production went from 200 and 228 uh, megawatts worth of solar with a 33 megawatts worth of uh, nuclear down to nothing. We're now down to 120. So it does mean this excess steam is going to go into these steam tanks, but you can also see how quickly they're filling up. It does mean at night time, this system should be able to boost what we've got available in uh, the network, um, along with the accumulators. So um, yeah, it's we're currently using it as a pretty much a boost system. So one thing that we've had access to for quite some time is speed module threes and productivity modules along with efficiency modules. Now the efficiency module three, <sighs> It's great for removing energy consumption, but as we've seen between our solar, our steam power, our original steam power backup, and now our nuclear power, power's really not an issue for us. So I'm not too worried about the efficiency modules. They are there. They do just reduce the amount of energy that can be, or is consumed um, by assemblers, reactors, oh, assemblers, um, chemical plants, uh, miners, everything. Anything that can take a module, if you put efficiency modules in there, it'll reduce your power consumption, which technically is gonna reduce the pollution output of that machine. At the same time, if you are using nuclear power or steam power, both produce pollution, it will reduce the amount of pollution they output as well. So it's 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 an all round win, great for a death world. We're not too worried, we've got plenty of power. So we're gonna ignore those. But we do have speed modules, which make things go faster, and productivity modules, which we've covered earlier. They slow a machine down, but they give you bonus production um, for basically the cost of power. We have lots of power. So I would like to start getting these guys up and running. Now, we can see we ratioed out our speed module 1 to speed module 2s, but these guys need five speed module 2s, and they take... Um, they take, uh, these guys take 30 seconds, these guys take 60 seconds. So it's actually two and a half uh, speed module two, uh, two, speed module two to a speed module three. So we need to sort of iron out some sort of ratio to preferably have a nice simple one to one ratio. Um, but it means I need two and a half of these machines to run two and a half. Let's just put this in place without that um two and a half of these things now i can use speed modules to sort of iron out the ratio um in theory if i uh i added a little bit more speed what i need like 25 percent faster uh one of these is probably gonna be pretty close to the right ratio uh 30 percent faster probably gonna be there um so that's probably our easiest option but I need to duplicate this whole build. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to rotate it around. I'm going to paste it there. Now we also need to have advanced circuits. So I need to have red chips in here as well. Um, easiest way to do that is I'm going to bring it in line into the system. And I'm going to bring in red circuits right here. 
Um, it also means I now need to get going under all these belts going the right direction. Uh, we need blue circuits right there. We need another red circuit off the main bus here. Copy. Paste. I need another red circuit one. No, I need put that in. Put you down as a receiver. I need another red circuit there. Flip that back around so it's going the right direction. Uh, and again, I can just copy that and copy that. And then fill in all the gaps. So I get red circuits down here. I need to do the same with green circuits. So, well, actually, let's put in that. So we've got things going the right direction. I can copy that whole thing. And, oh, that's up higher. There we go. Copy, paste, put that in there. Reverse that so it's going the right way. And hook that back up. Okay, you done yet? Okay, so we've got our red circuits flowing. We've got our red circuits are now flowing. Our green circuits will be flowing after a lazy bot comes and builds this line. Um, and we'll give you an output into a chest. And I'm going to cap this one to one stack. Um, I'm also going to take these guys off the network conditions because I don't really need them on the network conditions. And we can also add input for blue circuits. Um, actually, do we have any spare speed module twos? And actually, that's probably not a bad idea. I should add recycling because let's be honest, I don't really want speed module twos. I'd really like speed module threes. So. Yep, there's two in the network. They'll now end up in here. Uh, okay. So now I've done that. Uh, let's get all these belts the right length. Uh, oh, that's funny. This whole line is one tile higher than the other. Let's just cut that, paste that down one more tile lower. So now I have that. I want to have productivity modules, which is basically the exact same blueprint, except we just need to change all the recipes. So we change you to this one, uh, that copy paste, oh, paste, uh, paste the recipe, uh, change that to productivity two, um, change you to make productivity modules. Now, I do have a, a somewhat abundance of productivity module ones in the network. I, I siphon off the excess that we're making here with a plan to actually use it throughout the base and we haven't got around to actually doing that. It's perfectly fine. I don't need to do that. Uh, oh, yeah, it did go in there. Uh, trash that. Uh, and we change that to product twos. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, I could use the productivity modules ones we've already made and, and feed these two machines. Um, honestly, it's not worth it. it it's fine as is. Um, and this will at least start our effort in making both speed modules and productivity modules. Because I'm only gonna make about one per minute, roughly, um, I'm actually going to up the production slightly. Uh, whoops. That failed. Uh, line that up there. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Yep, yeah, go away. Uh, speed, speed, productivity, productivity. So this should give us one, two, three, four, five per minute, roughly. 
um, I need to repair my robot network because I did break it thoroughly when I removed that robot port. Uh, hmm. Okay, I need to put that in that robot port in there. Uh, power, 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 power. Do you have power? Yeah, okay. Uh, what did I? Oh no, it connects through the solar. Never mind. I didn't really have to worry about that. But this is all inside the network. It can all be built. Um, that's not inside the Logi network. So again, we'll just make ourselves a little bit of room and drop a robot port right there in the corner. Uh, obviously there are no speed module twos in the network. So I'm going to pull out what I can and run down the line and have my robots place them. Done. And then I can take whatever speed module twos are left over and they'll disappear into one of these requester chests. Now, of course, this is going to start putting a very, very large draw on our blue circuits, which is in turn going to put a large draw on our green circuits. As you can see, our green circuits aren't even making it all the way down um, our blue circuit build. So we need to boost our green circuit production into the blue circuit build and potentially, if possible, make the build longer if this oil wasn't in the way. So, um, first things first, how far are we getting? We're getting... Turn off alt mode so I can see which machine. So we're getting to about here, about where this line crosses. So I want to bring a... Potentially two green circuit belts, one in here, one in here, and bring them in both sides. Um, but before I do that, I think I need to actually do something about making more green circuits. Because that whole line looks um, a little bit sad. So we do start with two almost fully compressed belts. Um... So why don't we okay, turn off alt mode again? We can see that by about here. Yeah. By about here, we're out of copper. So I need to get more copper lines. So we'll come up here. And... right beside our existing bill. Now I don't have to be too exact with this. Uh, I'll actually do it... I'll do it about here. And we'll say output priority right. And to make sure I'll put another one a little bit further along with an output priority right as well. And we'll use our upgrade planner and change all of that to red belt as well. So that should hopefully fix our copper problem. Um, doesn't necessarily guarantee that we don't haven't just made ourselves an iron problem, uh, but we will see. Output priority left, uh, copy paste. Bring this belt all the way up here. Um, okay, let's do this half first. So again, I want those. I'm going to have to come down and over and then have a zigzag right there we should get even more copper into the system uh, and I'm also going to use my upgrade planner and make sure everything is now red belt uh, did we get that research done? I did okay 
look at our iron problem our iron our iron seems to still be fine now i can of course extend this build and as we're producing a lot of green circuits but as we work our way down the bus we can see it's not getting past blue circuits at all that that whole belt is dead at that point um it looks like it's definitely going to be time to improve things so we're going to upgrade that i'm going to upgrade that that side's already done we can then copy no i want to copy that uh, keep things lined up that's just actually a belt now and that's a belt now uh, use an underground to get under these lines that we've got going through uh, that has to be changed that goes in there that goes in there we can underground those up underground that one down uh, iron same story we need to bring that through as well uh, you need an iron input you need an iron input uh, you need a copper mm, do I not have any yellow belt Okay, light, 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 and light. Make almost everything. No, it's now going in a request chest. Because it's in a request chest, I don't actually have Yellow Belt available on the network anymore. Um, so I'm going to have to upgrade these to red, which is fine. I can always do that with an upgrade planner. And then hopefully, this should line up. It does. And we can just duplicate this build down a few more times. Mm, yes, we're in robot range. Um, okay, I want one of these. Mm, I would like redundancy structures. I'd like processing units which I probably have absolutely none of now uh, now I've turned this all on okay so there's still copper on that belt there's still copper on that belt I need to inject it again and keep injecting it until there's no copper left Unfortunately, the inserters are lazy, so they actually grab, they grab from the side closest to them, and of course, this has got copper on the side furthest from them. So I might need to move that copper line down a few more times. Um, but now we got ourselves a new problem. There is absolutely no iron. So I need to get another iron belt down to here. Uh, although we now have, we now have two fully compressed belts going out uh, which now means we can up our production by going up to four belts uh, so this requires a little bit of a re-wiggle All of these um, all of these splitters so what's the best way to do this okay the best way to do this is I go get what I need for this so we have a personal rare report which has dimensions two by two uh, robot recharge rate of two times one megawatts a internal buffer rate of 3.5 megawatts it has a robot limit of two with char two charging ports and a construction area of 30 by 30 tiles. What we also have is we have the RoboPort Mark II. So it has the exact same dimensions, twice the amount of recharging uh, spots, uh, 
so we go from two recharging two bots that we can recharge at once to four robots we also go from a construction area of 30 by 30 to 40 by 40 um, which is somewhat significant amount of more constructible construction area uh, you should be out of prey left uh, that's a problem and we're just going to cut the belt for a minute uh, no, we're not going to cut the belt. Turns out I have heaps of these things. So I need some low density structures. And then I need five personal rover ports. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, now I need one personal rover port, which just needs batteries, which will be right here. And I can make one of these. Now, before I do that, let's walk off into the wilderness outside robot range there's a long hike to find a spot where i don't have robot range here we go so that is my current range now of course these stack uh can i bring up that and that at the same time okay so this is my current robot range these stack so as i take out robot ports you can see the area keeps getting smaller and smaller um, until I'm down to one robo port and then of course no robo ports once I make one of these just one um, which is going to take yeah, 30 seconds so I'm going to chit chat for 30 seconds waste 30 seconds and we can show off a personal robo port mark 2 come on craft faster uh, I need a lot of batteries I can put that in there. And you can see my range is still smaller, but now I can charge twice as many robots. I can also have twice as many. So that goes a robot limit from 10 to 25. It means with just two of these, I can have almost the same range I had with four uh, robot port Mark 1s, which had me a, a robot limit of 40, to two of these with a robot limit of 50 with almost the same construction area. So I want a bunch of batteries. Uh, actually, we have a chest full of them. Uh, make one of them. And it's going to take a while. That's fine. I don't really mind waiting as long as I don't have to handcraft gears. It also means for our, our armor, oops, I've actually cleared up an extra slot at least, plus potentially another two slot, well, one slot over here, which I could use for more energy shields, um more personal laser defense um there's a lot of options i can use um also means i could put in potentially another set of legs so we can even run around even faster so back to green circuits um now we've got that little update done now, green circuits i think what we're going to do oh our, our iron is actually dead dead why is our iron dead dead uh Turns out we can't unload it fast enough. Okay. Take that build. Paste there. Paste there. Um, paste there. Copy. That's the issue. Mm, we don't make stack inserters. I thought I left room for those, but obviously never set the recipe. Uh, stack inserters. Into that chest, which will be a passive provider, and we'll manually cap to one. Okay, so once the iron train goes and does its business and refills and empties into here, we should have iron again, which would be awesome. Uh, research. I want this research. Okay, so green circuits. I want to copy that configuration. No, I need to copy that configuration, put it there and put it in my inventory so it actually exists. And then we're going to do that repeatedly. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just going to deconstruct all these. Because the design is slightly different. Should put a copy from there to there. Remove that. Remove that. Let's get rid of all these power poles that were in our copy. Uh, you know what? We're just getting rid of all the belt. It's it's just faster. It's just faster to, to delete all that and then pop it back down. Line up with the blue, as long as we're pasting blue over blue, it'll work. Uh, yeah, I have to hold shift for that one, because it's not a 100% cop. Whoa. It's not 100% overlap. Put that one in there. Difference is you need undergrounds to bring the material up. So it lines up blue, blue, and blue means that you're literally copying over something that already exists. Everything lines up beautifully, which is what we're looking for. But with that, and hopefully with our train, we still don't have any stacking service. How many do we need? 14. 5, 10, I'll make the gears. Because want that replaced before this train gets back. Uh, there's two trains waiting. Okay, and I also want the same at this end. I want to load twice as fast. Hopefully that's in robot range. It is great. Uh, and oh, it also means what I did to this station, I need to do to that station and this station because copper's not going to run fast enough either. It's it's been okay because we've been supplementing it with with our miners, but um. As you can see, the miners look fairly sick at this point. Uh, there is 300 iron right there that we're going to steal. Um, and actually, there's a little bit of little bit of resources out here still that we can worry about in a, in a future episode, or I'll, I'll worry about off camera. Uh, you're dead. You're dead. That's dead belt. Uh, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Dead, dead. Uh, there ain't a lot left. Coal's fine. Uh, yeah, coal's fine. Iron is um. Seen better days. Oh, that's right. I don't have any yellow belt. I have to use red belt. Okay. Where is this train? It's coming, finally. Uh, that is completely upgraded. But yeah, green circuits. Oh, they're, they're, they're just getting to um, 
just getting to blue circuits now. Um, but we already worked out that the two belts we're feeding this is not enough. We really need three, potentially a, a, a fourth belt as well. Uh, iron train unload. That's what we want to see. Nice, fully compressed belts. Um, but unfortunately, by the time the train's gone, these chests are almost empty. So we really need a bit more iron unloading as well. And probably um, faster loading, potentially, for our trains. Uh, what's happening with you? You do not have fast inserts. Oh. That fixes that problem. Mm. You don't need ironing. Uh, you could probably do a second one of those because you do have two resources coming in. And you know what? Oh, it's still handcrafting. <sighs> No, the gear belt is dead. I'll do. Oh, that seems like a small oversight. Okay, iron is now full. It's getting to about the crossover. So, before I forget, uh, we're going to... We need to get an iron belt down to about there. So, our choices are take it down on the side and then feed it in. Or... Let's take it down on the side. Okay, I want to line up there. Unfortunately, this is going to be a bit of a mute point with not enough iron coming in, but if we lay in the infrastructure now, when we fix the iron problem, this will also magically fix itself. Uh, okay, so I want to bring it to about here. And then I need to do some belt gymnastics. So I actually want to, at this point, bring it in sideways. Uh, remove that power pole. Uh, upgrade power pole. Upgrade that and that power pole. Because I want to bring it into here. And then I want to merge. And I want to say output priority right, obviously. Um, and if there was any iron on this belt. Fix that problem. Um then we'd be getting iron down to the second half of the build. Uh, which also means technically, if one side's like this, the other side's gonna have to be like this as well. Uh, move that down. Um, actually, no, you can technically stay right where you were. to the other way uh, underground in line that up over the railroad port there's also a radar we need to jump over uh, did I handcraft the second one of those? I did Okay, so you need to zigzag out to here. Oops, one too many. Copy, paste, bring you out. Down to there, down to there, and into there. 
Okay. And we've actually got a little bit of iron for a change. But this does mean, potentially at this point, I'm already bringing off four whole belts of iron. So we need to look at many things. One of them being possibly adding new smelters halfway along our bus. Adding a whole new set of smelters in and actually injecting more iron onto the main bus. With potentially some more copper as well because same thing here. Um, we're bringing off definitely two belts here. Another two belts here. There's not a lot of copper left over. Um, in fact, we can now see copper's just not making it past red circuits. Um, which means no battery production. Uh, no... No battery production. What's the other one? Uh, low density uh, solar production. Not we care too much. But no low density structures. Which does use a good portion of copper. Um, in fact, I just realized that it needs one there. Because it's used a full belt of copper by that point. Um, actually, we can just do that. Um, but yeah, we got iron flowing down, which means more green circuits, which is great. Uh, our copper is potentially another belt, another merge in here. Which means, again, the exact same on the other side. Oops, ran past it. Yeah. We've got iron at the end. We've got copper at the end. We have lots of green circuits flowing. If we go all the way back to the top, it's not quite four belts worth. Um, in fact, it even looks like it maybe is just three belts worth um, after these are compressed down. But it's still a lot more production than we had before. And now our issue is we don't have iron. Because um, as soon as this train empties, all the boxes are basically... As soon as the train unloads, all the boxes are basically empty. So we need more iron. Um, we do have a my, uh, uh, an outpost here, um, and then anything else we'll have to go argue with some biters about to see whether we can have those resources. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we've got nuclear power up and running. We do need to play with nuclear power a little bit more in the next episode. Um, we've also got a bunch of um, module production, and if I search for module we have 28 speed modules and 23 productivity module threes um actually one thing we should do is because all those are capped to fit uh, they're capped to one um one slots worth but all those slots are independent of the other builds so one thing i should actually be doing is using a logistics condition and we'll do this quickly before i forget to say hey you we want speed modules 50. Uh, and if i copy and paste that and literally change that to that we can then copy that build and as whoop, copy no copy that one and pay whoop paste as long as it's blue it'll work if it's not blue it won't work but that will copy the conditions down to these guys so uh, module um, so when these get to 50 of each it'll stop running unfortunately there is no green circuits this far down the bus because they've all been eaten by this point um, but because we are running a main bus basically when blue circuits backs up then green circuits can flow past this point into the module production. When it can flow into the module production, we're gonna start using blue circuits, which then means the blue circuit build will kick back in, which means the green circuits will start disappearing from this point again. It is one of the advantages of the main bus. Um, it is also one of the flaws of the main bus that, you know, depending on where it's built in the bus depends on which priority of, of what works, you know, what works in, in what order. Um, so yeah. I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, like I said, we'll finish playing with our nuclear down here. 
um, do a few more changes and modifications to our nuclear and probably potentially start playing with the modules that we've already built um, along with tracking down some more iron. Um, one thing I can do is I can fill these miners with speed modules to have them output faster because as you can see even up at this point we don't actually have four full belts worth of iron ore which is probably why down here where we are using four full belts um, is disappearing so quickly. So yeah, some more outposts. We'll tap this one and maybe we'll go talk to the biters about releasing the other ores. Anyway, like I said, way too long an episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying the series and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.